In this video, I'm going to demonstrate what we do before we proceed to multiple regression analysis. Typically, we summarize the data before we estimate a model. We have four variables here. We have the dependent variable and three independent variables. The dependent variable is winning percentage, and it depends on the team's shooting percentage, the opponent's three-point percentage, and the opponent's turnovers. Down here, we have the table of descriptive statistics. We want to compute the mean, standard deviation, minimum, and the maximum for all four of our, of our variables. And so, in order to calculate the mean or the average winning percentage, we type equal average parentheses B2 to B30, and that gives us the average from Atlanta all the way down to Washington, it gives us the average winning percentage of teams in the NBA, which is 50%, which makes perfect sense. The standard deviation is found by typing equal standard STDEV, parentheses B2 to B30. The standard deviation of winning percentage is 13.9. To get the minimum, we type equal min, parentheses B2 to B30. So the worst team in the NBA has a winning percentage of 24.2. The maximum we type equal max parentheses B2 to B30. So the best team in the NBA has a winning percentage of 72.4. Now the cool thing about Excel is we can just drag these over, and so it automatically computes the averages for the remaining three variables. So teams in the NBA shoot on average 43.5 percent from the field. Teams shoot 34.1 uh, percent from the three-point line and turn over the ball 15.2 times a game. The next thing we want to do is we want to calculate the correlations. To compute the correlations, we type equal corel, corel stands for correlation, parentheses B2 to B30, which is winning percentage, comma C2 to C30, which is your shooting percentage. And because the better you shoot, the better chance you have to win, the correlation should be pretty large, close to 1, and positive, which is the case. Now, the correlation between winning percentage and your opponent's 3-point percentage is probably going to be negative because the better your opponents shoot from the 3-point line, the less chance you have winning the ball game. And that's exactly what we see here. It's a negative 0.434. So the higher your opponents shoot from the three-point line, the harder it is for you to win the ball game. Now turnovers, the more you can get your opponents to turn the ball over, the more layups and dunks you're going to have, the better chance you're going to have to win the ball game. And that correlation is positive. Again, we write equal coral, winning percentage, comma, uh, opponents turnover, number of turnovers they commit. Now we're not going to compute the, sh uh, the correlation of shooting percentage for shooting percentage because that'll just be one. The same thing with this right here, that'll just be one. Next we compute the correlation of shooting percentage and opponent three point per shooting percentage. And this kind of makes sense because your team's shooting percentage is really not going to depend on how well your opponents shoot the ball from the three-point line. So that's why this correlation is is uh, quite small. Okay, so this is the correlation parentheses between your shooting percentage and your opponent's three-point shooting percentage. Now, if you're playing really tough defense and you're getting the opponent to turn the ball over you should have a lot of layups and dunks so we suspect this correlation to be positive well it's negative maybe that's because when your opponents turn the ball over they're getting back quickly and they're contesting dunks and layups and they're forcing you to maybe make a quick jump shot. Maybe that's what's going on. But to calculate this correlation, you type equal 
coral for correlation, parentheses, C2 to C30, that's your shooting percentage, and the comma, E2 to E30, your opponent's turnovers. Okay. Now we don't have to calculate this correlation because we already did it. We already did opponent three point shooting and your own shooting. This, these two would be the same, so we're not going to compute that. So the final correlation we have to compute is the correlation between your opponent's three point shooting and your opponent's turnovers. Now, I suspect this is probably really close to zero because I don't think opponents turning the ball over in the NBA is going to really be correlated with their ability to shoot the ball from the three point line, which is the case here. Okay. The next thing we want to do is we want to um, Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to scatter plot the y variables versus the uh, x variables. So what we want to do is we want to click on chart wizard, select scatter, delete that stuff, click on the series tab, click on add. The y variables or the y values want to highlight the values under the y variable. For the x values, we want to highlight the values under X1. And then we hit next. Track title. We want to call this figure one scatter plot of win percentage versus shooting percentage. The X axis is our shooting percentage. The Y axis is our winning percentage. Okay, so now we're going to format this. This looks a little nicer. Get rid of that thing. Get rid of these decimal places. Get rid of the gray. And then we can enter, we can insert a trend line by right clicking on a data point. A linear trend line, and then we can make that red to make it stand out a little better. Now, this scatter plot is telling us exactly what we already know: the correlation between winning percentage, winning percentage, and shooting percentage is positive. Okay. Notice that the red line is upward sloping. Okay, that means the correlation is going to be is going to be positive. In, the, in this case, it is. And because the correlation is close to one, these scatter point, uh, these points are near, quote unquote, near the red line. Okay. And the cool thing about Excel is I can copy this thing and I can paste it. And then I can you know edit this diagram. I can edit this thing. And I've already done that down here. So figure two, um, I've uh, edited the title, changed the x-axis, and then uh, moved, you know, the move the purple box to the from x1 to x2 to generate a scatter plot of uh, winning percentage versus upon a three-point shooting percentage. Now again, these points lie near the red line. But the red line here is downward sloping, which explains why the correlations are about the same size in magnitude, but why one is negative and why one is positive. Okay. Now if I copy and paste, uh, and then I move this pearl box to X3, I can get a scatter plot that looks like this. I change it to figure three, Winning percentage versus opponent turnover, change that opponent, opponent turnover, and I get a scatter plot that looks like this with a uh, upward sloping trend line. Now notice that these points are kind of further away from the red line, which is why 
that correlation is closer to zero. Okay? But the, the line is upward sloping, so the slope is positive. Okay? Now we can move on to multiple regression analysis.